Is it gonna be free? I said, oh, bless your heart. <laughs> this is about to be so embarrassing. I'm a survivor, I'm not gonna get The registers the clothes. It's a dope. This jollof rice is hitting. Boom. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I just drove down from Maryland back down to the 75. The ride down here was so intensely boring. I really don't know why. So I had to turn on some music, some oldies to really make me feel alive. <laughs> Miss Baker in the building. Miss Baker in the building. So yeah, now I'm about to go get my feet done, y'all. This is really a crime and a shame. I have not gotten my feet done since December. Mmm. Um, I don't know what color I'm gonna get. Maybe just white, you know, keep it simple. One time I went to get my feet done and I asked her for white and she was like, white is boring. Try a different color. I was like, miss, is it gonna be free? If it's free, you pick the color. Anyway, my camera is about to die. My phone's about to die. So we about to make this a real quick mission so that I can show y'all what we got going on. No earrings, no nothing, but this is a new place that I'm trying out. So hopefully they're good. Saying they food is so good, so we could go to cinema and get some of that. Ooh, them yeah. cheese fries. Huh? I said them cheese fries. Y'all, I'm on my MacBook, so please forgive the audio quality. I know I'm gonna step it up for y'all soon, but here I am thrifting. A big part of thrifting is just going through the racks and not finding anything. There's some days when I go to the thrift store and just am defeated because I ain't find nothing. But you gotta keep pushing because that's where the gems are. The gems are on the other side of defeat. Now let me stop. But yeah, we were having fun at Goodwill. I enjoyed going through all the clothes. Even if some of the stuff is not cute, I still just kind of, you know, just, just browse around, see what's going on. This was a size small, so I don't even know why I played myself. But, you know, you always have to keep your hopes and dreams alive. Always. And so that's what we were doing. I had to move the cart because somebody was all up on me. And so, you know, this is a little behind the scenes. I said, let me just go ahead and get it on out, out your way. Y'all, I'm really delusional. I really picked it up thinking I could try to, mm-mm, mm-mm. But yeah, anyway, I had a lot of fun at Goodwill. It was just a quick little pit stop. I was shopping really fast because, like I said, it only had an hour. Y'all, we made a pit stop at Goodwill just because I have to leave in, like, maybe 10 minutes. So I need to hurry up, but I'm looking at the suits right now. So, y'all, I'm just trying on a few little things. This is the first top. This is from Shein. And I just thought this is cute. Just something to wear when it's a casual little chill tip. So I probably will get this. Mm -hmm. What do we think y'all? I think this is super cute. This is a Sean John. It's like a bomber with trench accessories. Buttons, you see the collar. But then like the overall fit is like a bomber. So I think this is super cute. I think I'm gonna get it. And the color of the week is green. So I already know, everything I picked up is green. I feel like everybody's favorite teacher with this dress on, but I think it's cute with the jeans and the slides. But apparently the color of the week was yellow and not green, but all the stuff I picked up was green. She was done rigging everything up. I saw the price was $26. I thought it was gonna be 50% off. And she was like, oh no, it's not that serious. And she gave me everything for 50% off. I saw bless your heart. For real, that was so nice of her. Cause she did not have to do that. And most of the time, they would not do that. They wouldn't. I'm about to meet Janae at her dentist appointment. And I just stopped here for a second. I had like an hour. Janae asked me to come with her to her appointment because she has to get like dental surgery. I was like, Janae, I will come, but I don't know if they're gonna let me back there with you. I really don't. <laughs> this is about to be so embarrassing. I told Janae, she was like, I do not care. I said, well, I guess I'm your plus one, so I can't care either, right? My toes came out so cute. My mom picked my color. I was like, mom, what color do you think I should get? 
She was like, you want to pick it? I said, yeah, just go ahead and pick it. She picked a color that I personally would not have chosen for myself, but I think it's cute. It's giving spring and it's giving me very much like I want to throw on a summer dress with some sandals and just have a cute little day out. So the dress that I tried on was from the Scoop brand at Walmart. It was really cute, but yeah, I just don't think it, it flattered me well. I think I could have worked with it, but like I told you, I was just giving Sunday school teacher principal vibes. I wasn't rocking with it. So I didn't get that. And there was like a slight hole in it. I'll show y'all the stuff I did get. It was just slight stuff, you know, just stuff to add to my wardrobe. I think tomorrow we're going to thrift some. Did I ever introduce this vlog? I don't think I ever introduced this vlog. Did I? Hold on. No, I did, I did introduce the vlog. I did. Okay, anyway. Y'all, so Janae is done with her appointment. And the doctor said that she did really well. She said it's okay. How you feeling? I survived to tell the story. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm a oh, survivor. and all. Y'all. Take your mask off so they can see. No. No, I'm bad. No, I ain't gonna embarrass How's that embarrassing? Uh -uh. It's late. Just know, if you ever had a toothache, it can make a thug drop to his knee. <laughs> get a toothache, it's over. Yeah, toothache is, is nothing to play with. Yeah. But y'all, look at Janae's St. Patty fit. Oh, okay, yeah. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's so cute. Yeah, oh, yeah, the gold shoes, the kicks. Yeah. yeah that's cute. Yeah, so I came for the moral support, but they wouldn't let me back there. Yeah. But it was nice seeing your face when I came out. So now we're on the way to the beauty supply store because I need to get some Dr. Miracles gel. And I also want to see if they have some hoop earrings because I have none. It's lip oil from Ulta. It really is just giving me petroleum jelly. It's giving me Vaseline. I truly feel like I have been scammed. Ooh, I should run into Target. So I came here to find the gel. I don't see it, but I did find this. And I think I'm gonna try it. This is the leave-in cream that I use. And I really like it. So this is supposed to like strengthen your cuticles, which I need. I mean your uh your hair. Which I need, but I also need that gel. Where is it at? It says that it's for your hairline. It has biotin, aloe vera, and black castor oil, moisturizes and protects the nape and temple against breakage. It literally says strengthens and nourishes for a visibly fuller hairline. And that's what I need, because even when I try to do my little low buns, you can tell it's breaking off, so it'll be like really curly right here. And I just, mm-mm, mm-mm. Anyway, y'all, I think I'm about to just hit a few just little other stores. I might hop into DAV, might hop into Target. If I find some stuff, I will let y'all know. Otherwise, I think it'll just be redundant to keep, you know, bring y'all in. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Good morning. It is Saturday, a beautiful Saturday. It's cloudy outside, but I truly do not mind cloudy days. I'm about to just do a little bit of makeup. Actually, I'll probably just do concealer, to be honest. Last night, we went to the movies at 9.45. We saw Creed 3. I really enjoyed it, but I did fall asleep. I dozed off a few times, and then towards the very end of the movie, I actually fell asleep for like 10, 15 minutes. That was a good little nap. I ain't gonna hold ya. But I woke up and I was asking Jimmy, like, hey, what happened? She was like, girl, I said, oh, okay, that's fine. But yeah, anyway, y'all, today we are doing a bit of thrifting like I told y'all yesterday. I saw in the last thrifting video, we got a really early start, but today we'll probably not get to the thrift store until like noon because we're all just chilling. Janae had her surgery yesterday. My mom just came from the gym. I was asleep and then I uh, wanted to finish editing my video so that I can make sure I uploaded it tomorrow. So I'm trying to find several like oversized graphic t-shirts because I want to cut them for the summer. I feel like that's going to be like my go-to is just a cute oversized shirt with some shorts. I've decided that I'm going to start incorporating more skirts. So I'm going to also look for that. These earrings from the beauty supply store yesterday. So I'm going to throw these on. These are huge. Why am I just now peeping this? These are way bigger than the ones I usually get. Whoa, dang. I'm gonna have to go get some more of these, the smaller ones. Giving very much of the culture today with all of this gold. I'm wearing a, a brown tracksuit. And then I think I'm about to throw on this coat because it's gonna be 50 degrees, so it's not gonna be that bad, but I just wanna be comfy and cozy today for real. And then I'll probably throw on my Converse. I only brought two pairs of shoes, y'all. I brought two pairs of shoes. I literally only packed this one bag. All my stuff is in here. Yeah, I challenged myself to just bring my little weekender bag and I did it, girl. Is this too much brown? No, no such thing. This is monochrome. You know what? I forgot. I need to make a list of this little makeup stuff I need to get. I need to get some more NYX 
spray. I wanted to try the Charlotte Tilbury because I've been hearing people say that that is a good spray to try. So I might try that, we'll see. But the NYX spray and then I also need some lip liner and I need mascara, but I'ma wait until the mascara is fully gone because I'm trying to stop collecting so many items. And so I'ma just wait until my mascara is fully out. And I'm like, okay, I actually need it. I honestly feel so bad for having such ashy hands in the last video, but I mean, I can't not put the video out just because my hands are ashy. Just wanted to put that disclaimer out because I know y'all saw how ashy my hands were. I know you did about in every clip. I was like, oh my gosh, when I was editing, I said, oh. You gotta do better, honey. I almost forgot to put on my perfume. So yesterday, I went into another beauty supply from the same beauty supply that I got those hoops. Check out their fragrance section because I love me a, a roll-on body oil. Truly. I got Rihanna Kiss, Nicki Minaj Trini Girl, either a skater or a Scotta Joyful type. My favorite is Nicki Minaj Trini Girl. This has so many levels to it. This is my second favorite, Rihanna Kiss. This one also has like a light, just sensual smell. And then I can't remember how this one smells. I don't think I really. What was it just? Hmm. I don't remember. I'm gonna have to follow up with y'all on that because actually, I know God, I'm confused, y'all. This one smells like bubble gum and. Mm. Now I'm trying to think. I don't know, y'all. Just scratch everything I said. Nonetheless, all of these are very good scents. So if you see them in your local beauty supply, definitely check them out. Sorry, y'all. I thought I was going somewhere with that, but oof lost me definitely lost me but they all just smell so good so i put the rihanna kiss on my neck and then the um demonized trini girl on my wrist see y'all be going on fashion nova and stuff like that trying to get all the trends but the trends in the thrift store too they right here in the thrift store this is cute i forget what trend this is called but i know it's trendy right now not my personal style but i might try it on just because I think, ooh, it says it's a size six. Girl, y'all we're at the Salvation Army right now. Look how freaking cute. If these ain't the cutest little pants ever, way too small for me, but I would've brought this if not for this stain right here. This is cute, the buttons. Buttons. Mm -hmm. Port charging hub and it's in the shape of a Hershey's bar. This is so cute. You plug it in. In the back it has like the oh this is a USB. Child I'm thinking this is the thing you plug into the wall. It's still really cute though. And this is inside of five below. They have the twizzlers and the Reese's too. She was tasty. She was very good. Now they did put some roasted Brussels sprouts in there. I did not understand that because they were barely cooked. But everything else was very good. What's up y'all? So we're in Target on a little late night Target run. It's like 10 minutes before closing. But I think I'm going to get this velvet dress. And I'm not even a velvet girl to be honest. Like, ooh. I don't wear velvet. But I think this could be cute for a little date night action. The back is out. It's only twelve dollars, so if I don't like it, I'ma just return it. My mom and sister are in the body wash section, so let me go see if they still over there. We scan these body washes on the Yuka app, and the Yuka app you can scan like body washes, lotions, food, and it'll tell you the health aspects of it. And so this one came back as zero, and I just brought a two pack of this. Zero out of a hundred, meaning it has a lot of harmful products in it. Avino came back as what, 60 something? Yeah, 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 I don't think it passed. Love Beauty Planet had like a 79. But you see here, it shows you, if it has a green button, that means that it passed. So it's, it's okay to use. I have this one, the vitamin C brightener. But it doesn't foam up well. 45. Wow. <laughs> 83. Oh, 83, that's why it's so expensive. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, get y'all some native. 83. Native got the highest score. Did St. Ives pass the test? Uh, I don't think it did. This right here, this is OG. Oh, that didn't pass. Oh, it didn't. I really like, dang, I, I got a... Of course, this, this one passed, but this one did this not. This shade, shade better? This one gets a 14. 14? And this cocoa butter gets a... 
This one got a 14. 15. It just passed. That one got a 50. What about the black orchid? Oh, and patchouli. This got, this got a low, a low uh, rating too. So the results are this one passes, these pass, the St. Ives, and Native, and Aveeno. Yeah. Love beating and planet. planet. Those are the ones that pass on the Yucca app, y'all. Everything else, it's not good for you. But it all smells so good. Like, when you get in the shower, you want to just smell good and be moisturized and all of that. So it's like, it's hard to not use this type of stuff, you know? It's hard, so. <sighs> Child. This, the crushed macadamia and rice milk. Oh my goodness. This smell gets me every time. It's so good. Oh, it's not good. Oh, they turned off the lights. Mom, we gotta go. What did it say 30 minutes? Oh, the, the registers are closed. Okay. I've never been in here where they said everything's closed. I might get this. You getting a native? Y'all, this came back as zero. This came back as 86. Okay, come on, Ma. You still scanning stuff. Dana told us the store's closed. <laughs> I'm on my way back to Maryland. I usually do not leave this late. Nonetheless, I decided to stay later so I could go to Bible study. And then after Bible study, my mom, my sister and I went to Olive Garden. So it was really nice. Just the way that taste buds can have a full control over your life. Good food. Look at these little concoctions, these, these chili fries, this pizza with all the fixings, all the works. A couple stuffed Oreos. I mean, just everything that tastes good. It's just so bad. Living in America, it's so easy to just, just eat whatever satisfies you. That was just really on my mind. I'm like, y'all, I've really been just eating whatever I want. Not even, not even considering, <laughs> not considering anything except for how it tastes, which is crazy. I've really only been doing weekend vlogs, but I'm going to get back in the groove of doing vlogs during the week as well. I'm gonna try to incorporate more of that so that it's not just like weekend activities. It's the way that everything turns to little dots when I pull my glasses up. Thank you, Lord, for glasses. Nighttime drives are peaceful. There's no traffic right now. This car is on my butt. Like, I don't understand people who speed. It's just, you get such an adrenaline rush that you don't care if you get pulled over and have to pay a $200 ticket, or is it that you're just not paying attention? You know, me personally, there are times where I get heavy on the pedal and I'm just like on the phone or listening to some music. But for every person I encounter who's speeding, that can't be the reason for every single person. I think some people intentionally speed like they know how fast they're going. Can somebody please explain that to me? What is that thought process? Because it, it sounds carefree. It sounds very carefree. Good morning. What's up y'all? Today is Tuesday and I had to take off today because I just feel burnt out. I just needed a day to relax and reset, okay? So we're headed to Potomac Mills because my sister's birthday is April 1st and she wants some Pumas or New Balances. I'm gonna go there and see what I can find. And that's all I have planned today. I'm going to go to a second class later today and that's about it, y'all. We came in real cute, real short and sweet and simple. This is the outfit, y'all. Not much to say about it. Got this card in here from the thrift store. Bodysuit from Misguided, pants are from H&M and then shoes are Nike. And this sling bag is from the Zara Men's section i got it during the sale so yeah i'm filling up my water bottle right now i usually use the filter but that's downstairs and i don't feel like going back down there i know i know how lazy can one be how lazy can one be but that's just how we rocking today i got this bottle from aldi for 750 i was gonna buy a bottle just like this on amazon for 20 dollars, but i was patient top of the morning to you Cheers, drinking your water first thing in the morning. It's good for your health. I'm about to just make some yogurt real quick. Plain Greek yogurt. Some granola in it. This is the kind raspberry granola with chia seeds. And put some grapes in there. Y'all, I saw this bomb frozen yogurt recipe for like if you have a sweet tooth. I'm gonna try it. That's why I brought such a big yogurt thing. But today I'm gonna just give me a little serving. Should be enough. I don't really like yogurt by itself for real. So that's enough. Just a serving. 
two thirds cup. Okay. That's probably about one serving. My thing is, whether it's a serving or not, I need enough to be able to have some of each bite because I cannot eat yogurt by itself. All right, y'all, we have our breakfast. So let's go. It was best known as an app where you can make short videos with music and it had this mm. cult following with American teenagers. He took a real interest in this, saw how it was resonating with young people, trying to imitate it a bit. He goes on to try and acquire it, which he does. Hmm. So he buys Musical.ly in 2017. Y'all, we here reminiscing because Potomac Mills was our first, like, mall trip together. And, oh, it was so nice. Did you buy me anything during that trip? I don't think so. Nah, I don't do nothing tisk, like tisk. that. Tisk, tisk. Ladies. Say, like, nah, I'm just kidding. Don't be listening to this social media advice. That's gonna get you caught up every time, okay? Your relationship is your relationship. Dang, I only got three minutes left on my battery, um, on my memory card. Mm. All right, y'all, Janice said she wanted some neutral colored Pumas. So, let's see what they got up in here. I wonder if she wants some white no. shoes. Those are like Reebok shoes. Reebok Classics? Yeah, it's the classic, minimal, timeless shoe. They don't really got too many options in here. I mean, this is only the sales section, but I ain't see much over here either. Training shoes, she don't want no training shoe. Well, these are a neutral shoe, but these just are not giving me anything. I think Janae could potentially like these, but I feel like I could find something better. I might have keep looking, y'all. We slid in and out of the shoe department in like two seconds. They didn't have anything. I really don't even know why we went in there. Yeah, I'm about to buy these shoes. These are so cute. A little pointy toe, snake skin and silver. Mm-hmm. You get the same. Gotcha, so that's how it works. <laughs> I actually found what we I like this 550. Would you wear these? These are dope, 550. I'm stone cold, road in Patagonia. I hold it back until I scat my coat in California. Language, open that. Look at this with the fur in the tongue. And then it says, I have the power on the side. These are Pumas. Oh, okay, New Balance. These are kind of cute. I ain't even gonna lie. I wanted to give me a pair. Walk into this Ghana jollof place. We're gonna get some jollof rice. This is the place right here, y'all. Their menu. Looks like they have a lot of stuff on the menu. Uh, jollof rice. Oh, uh, entrees? I probably used to get some rice. Oh, they got plantains. But yeah, there's the rice right there. Ooh, I like plantains. You see your name is Juanita? Yes, my okay. name is Juanita. Y'all, me, Juanita. We oh. met in Ghana Jollof. Yes. And she has a line dance class. Yes. So you want to tell them more? We're going to be at Divine Dance Class in Potomac Mill Mall this Friday starting at 6 o'clock. We do have an after party coming. So if you guys had fun at Jollof on Friday, please meet us down at the Divine Dance Studio in Potomac Mills Malls. And we're going to do this again. Now, let me push these waist trainers. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> These waist trainers, they're $45. I can get them ordered for you. Let's come out, get snatched, have some fun on a Friday night in Woodbridge, Virginia, Potomac Mills Mall. Boom. Yeah, so y'all, we got the food. Juanita. Oh, Juanita. Miss Juanita. We met her inside of, inside of Jollof Rice. But um, hold on a second, Janae's calling me. Anthony already started crushing the rice. It's good? It's good. But I know there's like Jollof Wars and it's between two specific countries. I feel like it's Nigeria. Is it Ghana? It's not that, uh, it's not hot though. Oh, this isn't hot? Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. Jollof rice probably be spicy. Mm. 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 Dang. This jollof rice is hitting. It has like a spicy, lemony taste. Mm. You want a plantain? Mm. This food is so good. Y'all, these plantains are hitting. These were only $15. First of all, let's just start with that. Look at how cute. Y'all, I got these pants when we went to the Nike outlet store. These are a men's 2X. <laughs> so they're super oversized, but they are so cute. The fuzziness for me. These are the cutest little pair of pants ever. Like, I'm going to live in these this winter. Live. Hi. What's up, y'all? It's a little later in the day. Oh, my camera's about to die. Dang, I was going to take y'all with me. But I don't think I'm be able to. I'm getting ready to go to a cycling class. It's like 6, 10. The place is 20 minutes away. And the class gets packed. So I need to hurry up and get out of here. But do y'all put on perfume to go to the gym? As for me, mm -hmm. put on all my little bodiness. 
I don't put on perfume, but I do put on body mist. I like to smell good, gym or not, okay? Oof. I know some girlies put on makeup. I see now on TikTok. Do your thing, girlfriend. I sweat entirely too much to put on makeup. Just wearing an oversized Nike shirt. Some black joggers from Walmart. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put on my Converse or my tennis shoes, like my actual workout sneakers. Right here in my castle, you swore by all. I don't want to hear somebody else.